you did some grocery shopping over the weekend, and like millions of other Canadians, you probably took some time to read the nutrition information on the products you wanted to purchase. We're also, we're all searching, that means, for healthier options, though, so our next guest says reading the nutritional information is not necessarily the way to do it. <gasps> Say it ain't so. I mean, we've been so ingrained and educated and aware. Read those labels. That's right. But you're saying ingredients. We're saying, you know what, start with the ingredients, because really, if there are any harmful ingredients, which we've called the scary seven, then it doesn't matter how many, how much fat and calories a product has. That's the first thing that we've been taught. To, I mean, if I take a look at the, the labels, I take a look at the calories first, yep. and then you go down to try to that's find right. the sodium in, the, in that list. That's right, but no longer. So I want to reframe everybody's mind, because that's really not what we should be looking for. Okay, so and you're doing a lot of kind of what we could term junk food, fun food, whatever it is as well. Yeah, and it actually applies to all packaged foods, so it really doesn't matter so when you're grocery shopping and it doesn't matter what you're looking at at the shelf it'll apply to everything that you're going to be looking at to buy okay so you brought some products in to walk us through some of the stuff I that have. we should be aware of in the grocery store that's right so what we want to be aware of is something that we call the scary seven okay so what those are these are harmful ingredients that we know wreak havoc on our immune systems so those are anything like high fructose corn syrup mm -hmm. trans fats artificial colors artificial flavors artificial sweeteners MSG, which is monosodium glutamate, and certain preservatives. MSG is found in some of these packages. Oh, they're as well. found in a lot of different products. Mm. Products we wouldn't even think of. No, because you, I mean, you've got so tricky. If you're going to go and have, you know, Asian food, you want to go to a place that doesn't use MSG. That's right, but it's it's and it comes under so many different names, which we'll talk about okay. in a second. All right. So the first thing I want to talk about is high fructose corn syrup, and we think that you know there's so many products. For example, granola bars. We think, oh, they're so healthy for us. I'm in a rush. I'm going to grab one. But it has two different types of high fructose corn syrup. For example, this one. It has it in the sh in the filling and it also has it in the, um, the Nutri-Grain. In the, the Nutri-Grain, that's right. Wow. So and we, by looking at the package, we think, oh, it's so healthy, right? It's, nutri it's nutritious, there's grain, but in fact, it has high fructose corn syrup in it. And high fructose corn syrup is a cheap sugar that companies use, but it ha comes at a high cost to our bodies and our health. Okay, so the better choice would be? The better choice would be the Nature's Path Berry Strawberry instead okay. of using this. Now, we know that high fructose corn syrup causes obesity, insulin resistance, which is the step just before type 2 diabetes, and heart disease. So this is, these are important reasons why we want to stay away from this cheap sugar. Okay, and then you've got some crackers in here as well. We do. So this is trans fats. Now the thing with trans fats is we now know research shows us that it causes heart disease, diabetes, and cancers. There is no safe limits, and Health Canada will tell you there is absolutely no safe limit. And but a lot of products are trying to get them out, right? They are. And you know what? If we look at the Nutrition Facts panel, you'll see that, for example, it'll state zero trans fats on the label. Yeah. But you know what? The point is, is that we're still eating it. But why? Because there's a loophole in Canada that if a, if a product has less than 0.2 grams of trans fats, trans fats per serving, they're allowed to rate zero on the Nutrition Facts panel. When it's not zero. When it's not zero. So this is another reason why we really need to read the ingredients first. So we're looking for items like partially hydrogenated, yep. shortening, Yep. or hydrogenated. All three of those terms mean they have trans fats in the so product. So they won't be in the nutritional facts, but they'll be in the ingredients. They'll be in the ingredients. Okay. So that is the reason why we always say start with the ingredients. So a better option to something like grits would be late July. Okay. They have no, no trans fats in their product. They're made with wholesome ingredients, and they're organic, so they're really they're better for us. So the junk food area in here, people, <laughs> it's easy to grab those. Easy to grab. This is what all has monosodium. Well, this has monosodium glutamate, and so we're looking at something like Cheetos, we're looking at something like the Lay's, and we're looking at something like the Ruffles Ranch okay. dressing. So, And it's easy to spot monosodium glutamate because it'll state it right on the package. Now, like we said before, MSG comes in different names. So, And in the book, we talk a lot about the different types, so autolyzed yeast strep, Extract is okay. with another name for MSG. So you really want to be mindful of what it, of what products can contain it. And the reason why we want to stay away from MSG is, first of all, it's a flavor enhancer. So it, we, it makes us eat more at the same That's time. Right. So you know right. how often do you sit down with a bowl of you know chips and dip, and then you stop at one? Yeah, we and can. it'll say five chips has this. Well, are you gonna just have the five? Well, you're not exactly. Mm -hmm. So and it makes you eat more. So you really want to be mindful because it can cause you know chest pains, heart palpitations, excessive mm -hmm. sweating. Again, serious side effects. Okay. So um, before we go, Andrea, I just want. Is it to, this is the book anyway that has for people. It's a, it's a diary. It's a it's a it's a guide, a reference a guide, guide that you can throw it in your purse when you're shopping, and it has all the information, all the ingredients to stay away from, and, okay. and what to be mindful of. So the shopping. seven ingredients that we've been talking about, they're gonna there's gonna be a link by the way on our website, oh, and okay. also um, to check out Unjunk Your Junk Food because you compare the good, the bad, and the ugly. That's right. All through that. Thank you so much for coming in. Thank you for having me.